Right now at midday, breaking news from Richmond. Governor As of this morning, nine people in Virginia have tested positive for COVID-19. Governor Ralph Northam just announced there are now nine confirmed cases in the Commonwealth. That's up one from yesterday. And the governor says he expects that number to continue to climb. We'll get to tenure side Stephanie Harris with the latest on the governor's announcement in just a second. But first, we want to update you on the latest information regarding the illness in our area. There are now nine confirmed cases of the virus in Virginia. Governor Northam just announced he has not declared a state of emergency for the Commonwealth, but is prepared to do so. However, as we reported as breaking news yesterday at midday, North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper did declare a state of emergency. The declaration gives state government broader powers and monetary flexibility. So far, seven people in the Tar Heel State have tested positive. Cooper's administration is urging people in high-risk groups to avoid large gatherings, specifically people over 65 and those with underlying chronic medical issues. You can find all this information right now at wavy.com. Now let's get to tenure side Stephanie Harris standing by the newsroom. She has the details on Governor Northam's announcement this morning. Stephanie? Don, the governor said the state has taken steps to prepare our schools, hospitals, and transportation system. And he brought in officials from each of those areas who reiterated they are prepared. They shared steps that they have been taking. The governor said Virginia has made plans for state employees to telework when possible and to get paid time off. And he encouraged private businesses to do the same. Since last week, the state has expanded the testing criteria to make sure that residents of nursing homes and senior living facilities who have symptoms get tested. By the end of the day, we're told Virginia will have enough kits to test 500 to 600 patients. And state officials said that is enough to meet the need right now. This week, the state health commissioner said that he put in an order for $2.7 million worth of additional personal protective equipment. That's things like face masks for health care workers. The governor said Virginia has set aside $10 million for now to deal with coronavirus. I have confidence that our Commonwealth has made the plans and done the preparations to adapt to this situation as it evolves. Together, together we can get through this and we will. The superintendent of schools also took to that podium. He reiterated local school districts make decisions on whether to close, and he is confident that all the districts are prepared because he says they are in constant contact, discussing options for missed days, learning from home perhaps, and food for children who rely on school lunches should those schools close. The State Department of Health's website is updated daily, and there is also a hotline set up to answer your questions. That's 877-ASK-VDH-3. In the newsroom, Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.